at this beautiful Easter dresses, new Easter clothes. You all look so nice. Nice to have you here with us today. Easter is the most important day for Christians because why? What happened on Easter? Jesus rose from, rose from the dead. That's absolutely right. And because he lives, we can live. I brought something to show you today that reminds me of Easter. Take it hold it really carefully. What do I have in my hand? A butterfly, right. This is a butterfly that is not alive anymore, but you know, butterflies are pretty miraculous creatures. It's beautiful, isn't it? It has, when it, a butterfly lays eggs, but then when the eggs hatch, it's not a butterfly. It's a caterpillar, right? And that caterpillar, we're not so crazy about caterpillars sometimes. We, we look at them and they eat our plants and sometimes touch them really gently. Uh, they eat our plants and sometimes we don't like to have caterpillars around. And then something else happens. Caterpillars go find a nice safe place and they start to make a cocoon. And if you saw a cocoon, you might think, well, that's just like an old dead leaf or something. It doesn't look like it's alive. But inside that raccoon, that like, pff, raccoon, cocoon, the raccoons in our yard, cocoon, inside that cocoon, the butterfly is changing. It's not going to be a caterpillar anymore. It's going to be a butterfly. And then it's going to break out and it's going to fly away. I had a real blessing from God the other day. I went to our backyard and we had a, we have a tree that's got lots of white, sweet-smelling flowers on it. And as I looked up in the tree, the tree was covered with these butterflies, just like this one. And they were slowly opening and closing their wings, eating and uh, enjoying the sunshine. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful moment. And I had to say, thank you, God. Thank you for that. In some ways, we are like the butterflies. When we are in our human form, uh, we're kind of like that caterpillar, kind of nasty, destructive do the wrong things. But when Jesus transforms us, he turns us in all like into butterflies. That's a really special thing. There's another little thing in this box too that I forgot was in here. There's a grasshopper skin. Grasshoppers grow differently. When a grasshopper hatches, it's a tiny, 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 tiny grasshopper. And it doesn't change except that it just gets bigger. And every time it gets bigger, it puts itself, it, it breaks out of its old skin and has a new one. And then it grows bigger, it gets too big for that one, and it breaks out, but it never changes. We don't want to be like grasshoppers that never change, just get bigger. We want to be like the butterflies where the miracle of new life and new creation comes. So we can think about that as we see out in our yards the different kinds of butterflies that are out there. This butterfly too fits really well with the pastor's story this morning because this butterfly, you get the colors of it, it's dark. It's called a mourning cloak. Mourning like in sadness. And something that's dark still brings such joy. Just like our mourning and our sadness turns to dancing and joy. I liked all your dancing, by the way. That was great. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you that in you we have new life. That we grow not only bigger in our bodies and as we age, but Lord, we grow into new spiritual creatures. Lord, help us to give ourselves to you and let you transform us that we can burst out of our cocoons and fly for you. In Jesus' name, amen.